What's going on, everybody? Um, so, I just got news that Stan Lee passed away at 95. And, uh, you know, I assume there's got to be some comic book fans who are watching this on Twitch or YouTube or wherever. And um, <clears throat> if you're not, <clears throat> I can understand why this wouldn't, like, super affect you or why you might not be... Um, you know, where it might not be a super big deal, but I pretty much grew up with comics. Um, there's a ton of aspects of my life who are uh, that are that are. I don't know, painted with comic. Uh, I'm just hopping this cube draft. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, well. Thank you. Miss Vixen, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Um Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um Alan, welcome back. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much, buddy. Welcome back. Um, yeah, I don't know what to take here. <clears throat> Confiscate, maybe? We've drafted mono black pretty frequently, although Grave Pact is a pretty good, pretty good way to start that. I'm going to actually try to compose myself a little more. Uh, <clears throat> kind of like Confiscate here. Josh, considering my sub, uh, my sub emote initials are FTL, I would probably prefer you go with FTL. Um, I was actually thinking of a Stanley stipulation that we could do, uh, and we can just take all the alliterative names. There would be none in here, but I could see us taking the most Stanley names, uh, available, which would be sweet. Um, like Court of Calling, that would that would totally be a Stanley name. Stitcher Supplier, Goblin Grenade. This pack is rife with uh, with Stanley references here, so. I'm just gonna take the Grave Titan though. I think it's probably the best card in this pack. I think all the Titans are so are, are, are pretty head and shoulders above most of the other cards because they were the peak of um <clears throat> They were the peak of core sets, I would say. And the worst thing I was I was waiting for it for a while, you know, like I kept <clears throat> like I knew I knew Stan was old, like I knew it was it was coming. Shut up and take my money. Alan, Stan Leastiff, thank you so much, buddy. I'm gonna do it next though. I'll do it for the next one. Actually, maybe we can because I already took Grave Titan and Confiscate. We'll do it for the next one. We'll just we'll make it official. We'll start from the beginning. Or we'll do we'll do it today. I do have two other stipulations, but we'll definitely do it. Alan, I love you, buddy. You are the best. <clears throat> Probably Vampire Nighthawk here. I bet one of these thank these blue cards comes back. Underground could be. Rogue Optic, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. You guys are great. 
Also, I would definitely love to hit. Um, I would love to head back over 500 today. We lost like, we lost like 50 subs this weekend from all the. Um, Yes, Stanley died, hence my sadness. That was where the sadness came from. I'm going to take this next as a fate. We've had it played against us to, to very little effect, but I think with a Grave Titan and a Confiscate, we can actually do some work with this. <clears throat> anyway, I was saying, like, yeah, I've, I've always been um, dreading the day Stanley passes because, I mean, he was old, like, but he wasn't, like, 70 old, right? Like, he's not, like, older. You're like, well, I'm getting up there. He was 95. That's an insane age. And, uh, you know, you could just, it's, you'd be foolish not to, uh, to count the days there, you know? I'm a bachelor for the next two weeks, so I'm playing Mike Hours, wow. Does Doomblade die to Doomblade? If you make it a creature? No, I don't think so, actually, because it's always going to be black. Alan, you are awesome. Thank you, buddy. I'm, I just noticed the thing again. I don't know. Oh boy, what a morning, afternoon, what a day. I also have UPS coming to uh, supply me with a packing label, so I might have to get up and go. Did you see after fivest part? That's when. I'll <laughs> oh, after five Eastern, yeah, definitely we can do that. Um, I want to take skeleton here. I don't care about encrust, but skeleton's got a lot of cool combos. Like if the grave pack comes back, we can play skeleton. Lilyon, oh, drowned catacomb. I'm gonna take the catacomb. I wouldn't mind having a. Planeswalker. Actually, maybe it's... I think it's actually Liliana here. If we're a two-color deck, Liliana can get us uh, things like Grave Titan or Confiscator next as a fate. I'm going to take the Runescar Demon here as well. Actually, maybe it's Time Stop. We can go Time Stop into next as a fate. Cloud Sprint. Glad you can catch us live. It's a shame that it's not you. I, I agree with you 100%. That was definitely uh, a negative portion of that. <clears throat> wow, the Grave Pact came back? How do we just mono black again? Oh god. This is brutal. Like Stanley defined my childhood. I I mean I there's no real other way to sugarcoat that. Like I remember watching Spider Man and Thor and Hulk and Captain America VHS tapes, the animated series. And Stanley narrated them. And I remember him saying, like, uh, welcome back, true believers, and like just in his like that classic Stan Lee voice, you know? And um, every comic I ever read says Stan Lee presents at the top. And God damn. <sighs> Bloodthorn Vampire is pretty sweet with uh, Grave Pact and Reassembling Skeleton here. Remove Soul's good. Mind Control. I like Mind Control and Confiscate. I think if we have both of these, we don't really have to stay mono black. We can just do blue black, which is pretty strong. I think Mind Control is very strong in cubes in general, let alone in a core set cube, which is usually lower power level. <clears throat> All right, well. <sighs> um, is this whenever you cast? All right, so it's not going to work for reassembling Skeleton. Could be assassinate. <clears throat> I think the club room is good. I just don't know. Um... Yeah, bad doom blade is still a doom blade. That is a good point. 
I just I, I worry about how many creatures we will actually have, and I don't want to play things like Grave Titan or Rune Scar Demon on a, a turn later. So I'll probably just take the Assassinate. This is definitely like a Mutilate. Okay, I was going to say a Mutilate or a Languish deck if we can get one of those, and then we got one of those. So that's pretty cool. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Plus one, some closer to five. That's what we're working for. We can probably do it today, I bet. I bet we got enough support we can do that today. Oh, the, uh, the event list is gone. Is it back? There we go. Nailed it. All right. Wow, my throat's real scratchy, too, so that's cool. Uh, Sky Scanner's probably where we want to be. I like Typhoid Rats. It just blocks things. Nightmare's cool, but I don't want another six drop, especially in two-color deck. And this guy impresses me. I'd rather just have Sky Scanner, which is one more than Augury Owl, but it lets us actually draw a card. Ooh. Do we just do this again? I wish I could devote this to someone. Devote? D donate. Donate. <clears throat> um, have not been feeling great. <laughs> okay. Well, I thought we were going to do it naturally, but then Josh is like, here you go. Here's 11 gifted subs. Uh, I'm going to donate. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, what's the word I'm looking for? Thank you. Not donate because that doesn't work. I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't, you know what? I'm going to stop talking is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm not going to work here anymore. That's for sure. I think it's demonic pact. This card's strong enough that if we can find a way to, to bounce it. Uh, I wish this was, on, I was, wish this was on color. I wish this was not only creatures. I have a lot of wishes for this pack, apparently. Non-land permanents, X or Thank less. You. If we do this for six, we can bounce Demonic Pact. <clears throat> Josh, thank you so much, buddy. I love you to death. You're thank great. You. Chad, don't... Your, your seven gifts and subs definitely don't feel weak, dude. I really appreciate that as well. Subs thank for Stan. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. I don't want to exploit his name and be like, Hey, sub to me, though, for Stan Lee. That's silly, so I'm not going to do that. But I like that you said it, because I was kind of thinking that kind of, like, that thought. That, that that like, the idea of that was nice. So, I'm going to go with that. I always put Graveblade Marauder on my deck. I'm just going to take the Displacement Wave. Because we have Demonic Pact. Thank you. All the thank yous. I'm going to take Soren's Vengeance. It's just so good. I would really like a ramp card. Like, any kind of ramp spell would be great here. I guess we'll take Phil Spectre. We're still not necessarily blue. God, the number of... Oh, God, the number of mono-black drafts we've done is pretty pretty spectacular. Also, Phil Spectre and Liliana Vest is good. I like that. <clears throat> Basically dying. No, the Equilibrium came back? These people have no respect for anything. Yeah, this guy's not great, right? Number of creature cards in your graveyard? That's terrible. Nightmare came back. If we do go mono black, we'll just play that guy. Thank you. <laughs> Chad. Nice planeswalkers, Chad. Nice planeswalkers. Tin Man, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Sorry your throat's feeling bad. Are you on the Diablo is dead train or something? What does that mean? Uh, I don't think Diablo is dead by any means. But, um... Yeah, I also feel like I've been getting sick, which has not been fun. But mostly I'm just disappointed about the Stanley thing. Yeah, it's done by the Hollywood Reporter. I'm pretty sure it's not fake. It's definitely not fake, Sarah. Also, another good mono black option. Jeez, I just don't feel like it's worth it for these three. When we could just as easily run other things. Yalmok, thanks so much for that. Glad you could join, buddy. Glad you could join. Uh, I'd, I'd like to take a Necrotal, but I feel like we have a lot of four drops right now. I'd probably just take Phyrexian Arena. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, I could take double blue card and stick with the blue, but I don't feel like we have to right now. 
God, Mono Black has ended up being so good for us. Thank you. <clears throat> I feel like whenever you guys gift a sub to someone who's actually actively trying to sub, I really appreciate it. I love you guys to death. But I feel like when you do that, it's very equivalent to the, uh, if you teach a man to fish, he can fish forever. But if you just give him this one fish, uh, he can, he can eat for a day. Um, in the sense that like, you know, it's harder for them to, to resub because they don't really, they might not know when it, when it runs out or whatever. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being silly. Uh, anyway, I appreciate it guys. You guys are great, but I'm only specifically referring to people who are like, how do I sub? Belwar stone could be good. I like Nantuko Shade in the Mono Black deck, though. <clears throat> Actually, Shade will probably come back, to be quite honest. Uh, I like Fleshbrag Marauder, especially with Grave Pact. That seems good. I'll take that. It's also the only black card or blue card in this pack, so... Options are limited. Oh, Grave Digger. I like a Grave Digger. Either way, you guys are great. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Um, <laughs> man. Subs for Stan. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this Grave Digger. I guess that's good. What's the Brett Michaels special? I don't even know what that is. Oh, Priest of the Blood Rite. All right, so now we're just drafting the same black deck we had last time. Only we can sacrifice things to Blood Throne Vampire with the Grave Pack. That seems good. <clears throat> I did like, I considered Fallen Angel, but I just, I'm not a big fan of Fallen Angel in general. I like having a duress. Fishing is sweet. You just drink beer and look at the water. That is true. That is that is fishing, I guess. Ooh, Nantugo Husk is much better than the other thing. The other thing being uh, Fallen Angel. I also like Necromancer as well. It might be Husk here, especially with, like, the reassembling skeleton makes Husk very good. Also, just having an onboard way to, to pack your things, and we got Graveside. I'm going to take the Husk. Let's see how that works out for us. Bloodseeker, can you seek my blood? Can you make it shallow? <sighs> Over eight Husk and Angel weren't in the same pack though, right? I like Fell Spectre a lot. We have Liliana Vess in, in our deck. We also don't need to make any cuts right now. I'm gonna take Sign and Blood. I think it's better than uh Ooh, Ravenous Rats and Doom Descent are both decent. Uh, we don't necessarily need Carnivans. We have Phyrexian Arena. We have Grave Digger. Uh, we have Demonic Pact, which will provide us cards if we if we choose to play it. We have Rune Scarred Demon, Liliana. Like we have a bunch of card advantage. It's one of these two. I think it's probably Rats. Actually, let's go Doom to center. Nantuga Shade did come back. That's pretty cool. Nobody has any respect for my black cards. Fallen Angel also came back. All right. I don't think Day of Judgment. Take Sigil. Take Night. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Shut up and take my money. 
Five, sorry for your loss, Bucks. Have a comic on me. Thank you, Sarah. I really appreciate it, buddy. Three cuts to make. Three cuts to make. Probably cutting Fallen Angel. <clears throat> as far as, like, sacrifice outlets go, I do like having cheaper guys. Um, I feel like I do take the mutilate out now because we did get a bunch more creatures. And... Da -da 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 one more card, huh? Like, Fell Spectre, we have Liliana Vest and Demonic Packs. So we can probably actually deal them a bunch of damage here. <clears throat> it might just be Soren's Vengeance. Maybe not, though. I Dawn. That's a good one, Mitch. That is a good one. The old I Dawn. Maybe Sky Scanner. I also like Flesh Mag Marauder with uh, Doom Dissenter. That's a nice little combo. And Reassembling Skeleton. Also good. Also good. Cut Demonic Pact? Why do you need to get rid of it? Thank you. I don't understand. We just play it and then we win before it goes off. Grave Pact? Cut Grave Pact. <laughs> Only channel even sub. Thanks for always delivering the best comedy and content. Cat with two heads. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome back, that is. All right, I'll cut the Demonic Pact. It is a little scary. I think we're good without it. Oh, Mitch, dude, don't even... <laughs> you, that is not... Yeah, no, no need to apologize for that, buddy. Oh, man, my throat is hurting, too. So I sound terrible, I bet. Not ideal. And uh, trying to hold it together for Stanley's loss. My, our loss, I guess. God, it's funny because I just look around my room and everything is like Marvel related. You know, like I have a I have a Funko Pop Moon Knight in my computer. I have a little Thor figure on the desk. Like I have I have first appearance of Thanos up here. I have a Doom print that I bought at a con that was signed. I have a Doctor Strange print over here. I have a big Thanos over here. Like it's just like my life has literally been like colored by Marvel in some way, shape, or form, and. God, it's just weird, man. Like to just not be able to see him at like con, you know, like you'll, you know, if you if you were waiting for that moment to be like, yo, maybe I'll, I'll meet him at a con one day, and um, get him sign, get him to sign something. Like, nope. Like I'll never forget, like at uh, Emerald City Comic Con a couple years back, my friend Mike Robles was actually uh, running the panel with Stanley, and. <clears throat> I had a print of Stan Lee that I bought. Uh, it was done by Neil Adams. Neil Adams is a classic comic book artist. And so I bought a Neil Adams print at the con and I had Neil Adams sign it. And it was a print of Stan Lee. Like it was a Stan Lee. It was a picture of Stan Lee. And I asked him, uh, you know, I gave the print to Mike Robles and I was like, hey, can you have him sign this? And he was like, yeah, definitely. And uh, I got, so now I have a, a Neil, Neil Adams print of Stan Lee with Stan Lee and Neil Adams signature on it. It's just, Probably one of my more prized possessions now. It's just... This is a lot of, uh... A lot of thopters here. Now I'm just going to play Priest. <laughs> I think we need to find us a time stone. That's a solid reference right there.
Oh, Fiend Slayer Paladin seems good. I think we search for a card here. Is it Grave Pact? Could be. Oh, what just happened? What? What just happened? I have no idea what I even clicked. I was resizing the window. Oh, Magic Online. Well, <laughs> could be anything. Oh, God. There we go. Actually, might have been Soren's Vengeance, just being able to deal them 10 damage and gain 10 life puts us back in this game. Wow, that was amazing. I like that there was no confirmation. Like, you have such a small... you have The, the hitbox for that is so insanely small. And yet you have, like, this... Like, there's no confirmation. It's just like, here you go. Here's this uh, 1 centimeter by 10 centimeter square that you have to click on. Um, but, you know, you'll be fine. Sure. Well, let's see what we got. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. Hitbox is an MTG, yeah. <clears throat> Good times. Cool, we got an assassinate. Jesus absolutely worthless against their creatures that are never attacking. That's a weird, that's a weird take, Sarah. Cumbermatch is actually an incredible Doctor Strange. I have no idea what issue you could possibly even take with with him. They also didn't play Fiend Slayer Paladin last turn. Oh, I see what's happening. They're going to sacrifice. No, don't don't like I don't want to make this a form to like to shit on Marvel actors right now. This is not really the time. I'll be honest. Like, if that's what you're going to do. I really don't want to have some contentious debate about... I'm just going to assassinate this, because, like, other otherwise we're, like, waiting for a 1-3. Yep, that guy's good, but we can block it at least. Yep, don't care about that guy. All right, well, <clears throat> we're not attacking, but we got the priest off the board, and we were able to kill Pia and Kieran. Oh, that's a good, that's a good boy. <clears throat> it's actually good for us. Um... I think we're actually just pulled ahead. I'm not... I'm surprised. Yeah, I don't think you're an asshole, Sarah. I just don't really want to have the... Um, I just don't want it to devolve into some kind of, like, catty... This is why my actor is better than your actor discussions. Like, I just don't really want to... No. I'm just not in it. I'm not feeling it. And I'm not saying it even would. Like, there's no, there's no guarantee it would, but... You know... They have one card. All right, feeling good about that. Oh man, Grave Pact would be so insane, right? Just make them sack everything. Five. I'm so close to signing them in blood.
They're at three. Oh man, so close. Can you imagine if we got like a Soren's Vengeance of this instead of the Assassinate? One classy Sarah Buck. I don't know if I should be getting that. I feel like Sarah should be getting that, but what do I know? I know nothing. I'm the Jon Snow of of magic. Oh, that's a big boy. It's your boy, the rune scarred demon. All right, let's. So look at like this is your hitbox for like the cards that are not on the bottom, right? And you're like, oh, well, I can move it, and now my hitbox is this small, and I have to be careful not to hit anything else. So, I guess we're just gonna take Soren's vengeance because that will kill you. I did not think we were going to actually win that game. I think I kind of want the Mutilate in here for this matchup anyway. Maybe take out Flesh Bag because they have a lot of tokens. I can also see Festering Goblin coming in. Don't you wish your goblin was not like me? <clears throat> Bobby Miser, what's going on? I'll keep this hand. We're on the draw. Any one land lets us play Felwar Stone. We have a lot of gas, so. Today, you guys got the cool Frank Cried on stream. Uh, experience yeah I'm just gonna kill this this becomes a 3-3 three -three of Vigilance which is really actually very problematic as a 2 drop had no had no idea how different other streams are yeah that is definitely a thing I'm just gonna play Nighthawk here we could go Felwar Stone into Doom Dissenter but I'd rather just play Nighthawk we have lands for days so I'm pretty sure if we just play a, a, gra a Grave Pact uh, next turn we're in really good shape I don't actually know how to not keep it real I've had problems in my entire life keeping it not keeping it keeping it real I think I keep it too real sometimes yeah this is good this is very good I don't feel like attacking I'd rather just block here so <clears throat> it's one of my bingo squares nice Yeah, this seems like a pretty easy block. I like that because we can go Felwar Stone. Into Gravedigger. This seems pretty unbeatable, but what do I know? I guess they're going to go like Sun Titan. They didn't do anything. Oh, that's a dude. That is one bad Larry. <clears throat> Could have kept a black mana up, but I don't think it really matters. Yeah, might as well get in there. And wow, mono black does it again, I guess. Mono black too strong. <laughs> Sarah, thank you so much, buddy. I wouldn't say I was okay with it per se, but it definitely uh it's definitely a real thing, I guess. Jesus.
Hold on one second. There's a there's something out here I gotta go check, make sure I don't have to sign for it. Give me one second, guys. Yep, hold on one second. Okay, I did indeed have to sign, so glad we checked. Package of uranium just came in. BRB, got to sign something. <sighs> What did I get? It's ironic. It's actually Marvel. I'll show you guys what I got. Because it's super cool. This is what was just delivered. Alright, there's a lot of lands, but... <laughs> What's up, Rob? Good seeing you, buddy. Well, we're not going to sign here because we're just going to have to discard, so... Not ideal. I wanted to message you directly so you knew I would... Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, it's also huge. The box is pretty sizable. I had to slide it in. That doesn't sound appropriate at all. Vampire Nighthawko. Let's do that guy. Oh, I like that you... Wow, Hell's Caretaker and a Palaka Worm. This deck is gas. Look what they milled. Oh, man. Wow. Well, that's brutal. This is not going to end well. Oh, God. Oh, God, I have a family. <laughs> Jesus. They get a ranger? That seems fine. Well, now we can actually sign and blood ourselves. Oh, thank goodness. Reassembling Skeleton. <laughs> Here to save the day. I don't actually know how we beat this deck. Like, even if we get rid of this and trade, like, they just get it back next turn. They could also just get this guy and kill our Nighthawk to attack for, like, a million. Oh, God. Their deck is gas. Standard FM Friday? Maybe. That's a ways away. God, Hell's Caretaker, man. Hell's Caretaker is a card we need an answer to here. Thank you. K 
Kid Cabbage, welcome back. Thanks so much, buddy. 11 months in a row. Really appreciate it. Oh, boy. I guess we'll block? I don't know what to do here. My god. I know you like to laugh at me. I want to tell you a completely honest story. Yes, let's hear it. I could use a good laugh today, buddy. God, it's weird. I feel like I lost my grandfather today, you know? times sack of the demon and then hell's caretaker to get it back yeah that's pretty gross I we can't beat that that's unbelievable god jesus how is that a real thing well definitely bringing in mutilate probably bringing in festering goblin as well Take out the sky scanner. <clears throat> Take out Phil Spectre. Yeah, this hand's good. Let's we'll go visit the cake boss big. That's so that's so you. That's so tourist in New York. Uh who watches uh TLC shows or like cooking network shows. That's hilarious. Of course I'm sure that's not the end of the story. After we left, we kept strolling and saw a sign for Hell's Kitchen. Now you're aware I love to cook. I love Gordon Ramsay. Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Hell's Caretaker in the graveyard. Dang it. Beacon, Nyssa, and Rager. Land one time, because we need it. Oh, God, we love this game. All right. Yeah, Mortivore could be good. The problem is, like, we don't fill our graveyard very much. So, like, we'd be reliant on them to fill their graveyard. It's your boy. Thankfully, we are in a position where we can uh, kill that guy. With an assassinate. God, I would really kill for, like, a, a more, more, to, more mutilate. Not gonna, not gonna work here anymore, that's for sure. I think it's funny that you, on your layover in New York, like, you think you're just going to casually meet uh, Gordon Ramsay. Like, he's going to be there and ready. He's going to be at the door and be like, hey, guys, let's shake hands.
Oh my God. You thought Hell's Kitchen New York was actually Hell's Kitchen the show. Oh God, please tell me that's what's happening right now. Oh my God, please tell me that's how this story goes. We're like, it was actually Hell's Kitchen New York. Oh, that's amazing if that's what happened. I still look around every freaking store and restaurant and tell kids if he's Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, yeah. You didn't realize that Hell's Kitchen is an actual city. It's, it's an actual borough or uh, neighborhood in, in New York. Because that's amazing to me. That is incredible. All right, let's try not to fudge this up again. <clears throat> Next turn, we'll have seven mana. We have Soren's Vengeance in hand, which puts them at a virtual five. That's amazing to me. That is the most amazing story I've ever heard. You're right. I do like that story. I think we're just taking the Mutilate just to be safe. Yeah, we'll take Mutilate. We have Demon and Soren's Vengeance here. I don't see how... Uh... I think it would always be the opposite. I think Daredevil would see you and you wouldn't see him. I'm pretty sure that would be how it worked. I love how, I, you know, it's hilarious. This story about you wandering around New York uh, just happened to be a Marvel story. It just happened to be a Daredevil story. That's so incredible to me. Like the depth that 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 Stanley has permeated in our culture is just pretty it's pretty crazy having someone I need to talk to what does that mean oh no no prob Bob cyber Bob oh it was funny it was definitely funny it was hilarious although my throat hurts so I'm not sure if uh If laughing is as easy as it should be. All right, get back in Nissa. They don't have enough lands. Yep, go to 18. Did anyone tell him about Stan? <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you. Crimson Sun, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm tempted to just mutilate now because, oh, if they play something else, we're definitely mutilating. Yeah, it's, it's even better. Rob, it was definitely worth it. I'm surprised you have not told me that story before. Here comes a here comes this a Palaka worm. Oh, I see. That's worse. 
Ah, oh boy. I wonder what you get here. Do we want to get a card from our graveyard? Because I'll just get mutilated back if we do. Oh, well, that is a way to get a card back from our graveyard. Not particularly what we're looking for. Either way, it's still strong. I think it's just Grave Pact here, right? Yeah, that seems good. Because next turn we'll have eight, so we can go Grave Pact into Grave Digger. I guess, I don't know. I see. That's a good one. Yeah, that's that's a solid boy. We are now at six life. Not ideal. Oh, grave pact priest. Oh, this is a six six because yeah, that makes sense. Well, we're still alive. And Palaka Worm. Yep. Okay. It's getting worse. Oh, that's okay. All right. Now we got a thing. Are we dead? Probably. Maybe not. Actually, we probably are dead here. Because of the trample of seven, we're just going to die to Phyrexian. It's pretty close, but... I've been lurking for five years. <laughs> That's a good amount of time. That is a good amount of time. Yep, those counters will do it. All right. This game was utterly not close, unfortunately. Utterly not close, he says. Okay, well, let's try to remedy that now. Nice. <laughs> oh, I'm going to keep. Good times. Thank you. Kerwit with the eight months in a row. Welcome back, buddy. <clears throat> oh, God, my throat. It's all scratchy. Zaichi, really appreciate it, buddy. So if I, if I say I'm a fan, I win, right? <laughs> yes, that is how it goes. That is how it goes. Pressure is too much. Have to lurk some more. It's okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. Oh good, the double mono black deck and we got a Doom Blade in our hand. Fantastic. That was a good hit.
I am definitely a huge fan of Stan Lee. That is correct. Okay, you know what? I'm getting real tired of your shit, Hell's Caretaker. I'm getting real tired of it. Mistakes were made. Hell's Caretaker is a brust, brust, brusted magic card. Absolutely brusted. Does Hell even really need that much? Not really. Probably, it's probably like, you know what? Just put your shit wherever. It doesn't even... Should I clean up a little bit? You know what? No, it's Hell. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, well, I feel like we're in good shape. Yeah, they're just going to get rid of this Liliana, I bet. The Hell's Caretaker could sacrifice itself to get... Yeah, that's what I figured they'd do. Well, I didn't figure they'd do it. I just thought it was another option because then they get a zombie and they get Liliana to flip and they can activate Liliana this turn. Wow. That was rude. Discard a card. Doomblade. Well, we did not hit a fifth land. And now we have our sixth land. And now we have six drops, six drops, seven drops, seven drop. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. My voice is a little scratchy. It's probably some post-BlizzCon uh, sadness. Uh, I guess we'll go Vengeance here. God, Vengeance seems so good, though. I mean, Nightmare is just a worse Grave Titan, right? I'll just get rid of it. Oh, God, I don't know. Nightmares, is, like, it's the fact that it's a flyer is huge. But they're at a point where they can just remove a counter, make a 1-1, one, one, block, put a counter back on. Like, that's kind of obnoxious. So we want Runescar Demon to be able to find an answer to this. Yeah, I think it's just a Nightmare. I guess we'll take five here. I forgot Doomblade is non... Oh, God. I thought it was a terror. I'm an idiot. Yep, that was my bad. Yeah, I totally thought Doomblade was non-artifact, non-black creature. I totally forgot Doomblade was significantly better than Terror. My dad. So they go block, block. Okay, well, they're doing something here. This is fine.
wow. Huh. I guess they're just going to reanimate this with, like, Rise from the Grave or something. Just going to murder my Grave Titan. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think it's better to have this the Rune Scarred Demon in the long run. And that is why. Oh, they're going to make us discard it, though. God, that's so bad. Still a 6-6 six, six flyer, I guess. Oh, this is great. Never mind. Oh, this is gas. So now we both have no cards, and I get to play Runescar Demon and keep whatever we get. That's pretty busted. Medium fan, welcome back. Thanks so much. Really appreciate the sub. What a perfect, uh, what a perfect sub. <clears throat> is just Phyrexian Arena to go long? I think it is. <clears throat> Jokes on you and just says, what are you, what are you saying right now? Oh, all right, that's just the, that's the end. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so let's keep in mind that um I'm going to bring an ostracize cuz they have a lot of creatures. Let's keep in mind that uh Doomblade does hit artifacts. That seems like a relevant thing to uh, I'm going to take it out though, so it doesn't matter. We saw one creature that can actually hit, so I'll just bring an ostracized. Mortivore? It's like I said, like, we, we only have so many creatures and they only have so many creatures, though. It could be decent, but I don't think it's better than what we have. A quad of us. It's like the same. This hand seems very capable. Denmark, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. I will keep this hand. <coughs> oh, that was a nice one. Come on, Grave Pact. Oh, Necromancer, eh? This is nice because both of these are very easy to sacrifice. So, you know. <clears throat> the nice part about playing against the mono black deck is that Phyrexian Arena is probably going to stick. There are very few mono black answers to a Phyrexian Arena. That is not one of them. That is a good one, though. Illusions done at GG in, in Denmark. You guys should meet up in Denmark. That'd be gas. And you guys can take pictures and send them to me and be like, look what you did. Look what you created. <clears throat> a few thousand miles outside Copenhagen. Yeah, it's very close. It's almost identical. What did they take? Gravedigger? That's a good card. 
Joke's on you. I can play two creatures next turn. <laughs> Don't be a land. Okay. Well, I asked you nicely. I guess that was too much for you, huh? Okay. sad <clears throat> us drawing two cards a turn though is pretty uh, pretty overwhelming that guy's alright but it deals damage equal to the number of creatures in their graveyard which is zero so I'll just take one from that guy Don't be a land. Don't be two lands in a row. Okay. Preach. Robert, didn't you just go on vacation? Like, <laughs> isn't this just two vacations? How come we never go on vacation? Unbelievable. You never take me on vacations anymore. <clears throat> Fingers crossed for no mutilate here. That's what we're that's what we're hoping for. Oh dear God. Why do they always have these? I don't understand. <coughs> um, excuse me, you just said preach, and I believe you said priest. Or I believe the correct pronunciation is those are two different words. Uh, GP Tampa in March, it's possible. That is close enough to me. Uh, if they put it in Tampa, I'll be even more inclined to go rather than if they put it in, like, Sarasota. Sorry, Magic Effect. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. <clears throat> God, I take three damage a turn, and it's still not even not even putting a dent in my livelihood here. Okay, all right, well, Sign and Blood's a thing. Well, I'm definitely going to Sign and Blood here because... I want to be able to find... Oh, Jesus. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've drawn 11 lands. There are six lands left in our deck. Well, that's just ridiculous. I don't even want this guy to die, because then they sacrifice this to get it back. That seems bad. Hey, they... they. Yikes. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's getting worse before it gets better. Oh boy. Biscuits. <clears throat> I really don't want you to get back another 6 6 demonic tutor. Like, that just feels bad. Nobody wins there. You win. I don't win. So nobody wins. All right, one time Grave Pact. We got two cards on the top of our deck that we can hit. Come on, Grave Pact. Grave Pact. You know what? Sure. <clears throat> My Nightmare is bigger than yours.
Oh, UPS is here. Give me one second. Okay, now we're back. Uh, one package is just a pickup. It was not a delivery, so let's not go crazy. So they can tap down a blocker, tap down another blocker. If we kill this, they have even a, they have an even better shot. I don't know what to do here. God, they can get any card, though. Any card, guys. Do you understand? I think we're just going to take it. We're at 15. If they play a land and attack with both of these guys, it is only 14. So we go to 1, but then we die in our upkeep. Oh, I see. You're going to do it anyway. All right. <clears throat> so we're probably dead. I forgot they had this guy because <laughs> they've been doing nothing this whole game. So we're going to have to sack this for sure. That is unfortunate. So now we take four. Well, I got a blocker. They're probably going to tap it. Like you do. Yeah, okay. Seems good. I think we're dead. <clears throat> yep, alright, that'll do. Okay. What would we have drawn next turn? Anything relevant? Tendrils would have been relevant. Yeah, that would have been good. Okay, so I feel like Mutilate should come back in and we can just kind of sculpt a Mutilate game plan here. Oh, we're at 41. I didn't even realize it. I don't even care either. I'm always tempted to board into the black deck. I'm like, oh, maybe we'll just board into the black deck. <clears throat> I will play first. Oh, ostracize. I'm going to play this on turn three. Because I'd like to be able to hit, uh, give them the best possible chance to hit like a Necromancer or something valuable. Okay, well. And we have three two drops, so we can go turn two, two drop, turn three, ostracize, three drop. What up, JTH? JT, I'll just say JT, that's better than saying JTH, because there's also a D. So I might as well say JTHD, so I might as well just say JT. <clears throat> and Tuco Shade was a solid choice. Oh, I watched the, the trailer for Detective Pikachu as well, and I have no idea how to feel about that. Oh, Pentavis. Quag sickness. <clears throat> Let's get rid of the Pentavis. It's 
pretty uncomfortable. That was a pretty good draw. I don't understand. <clears throat> like, the Pikachu voice from the cartoon was always, like, really high-pitched and, like, cute. It was like, Pika, Pika. And now you have Ryan Reynolds doing the voice. I'm just like, I don't know, man. We're going to block here because otherwise we take, like, a thousand damage. Also, if we can mutilate for three still, because, well, if we draw a land, we can mutilate for four, which is probably good now. Because I think we they, we they have Quag Sickness and some other nonsense. One land, one land, one land. Wow, really? No lands, huh? That's cool. Thanks for that. Oh, boy. Magic Online. Here we go. Man, our, our mono black streak went from... Uh, <clears throat> So one, two, three, four. Okay, this is actually good because now we can mutilate and feel good about our choices. We only have Quag Sickness and something else in hand. <clears throat> All right, so we're not dead yet. That's good. Just go Felwar. Oh, actually, we get to draw another card, so that's cool. Felwar into Sky Scanner. Try to hit a land here. Thank you. Did it? All right, cool. Vani, I thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Um, being a nine life, I just kind of want to block everything. But then we have Nantuko Husk as well, so maybe not. How much do we have? Four, five, six mana, so we can go these two. Or if we try to land, we can go this and this. Huh. I think we can take one, but I don't feel great about it. Yeah, all my comics are Stanley comics. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Okay, well that's that's very comforting actually. So now we can go husk into Nighthawk, which is nice. But they're gonna just quag sickness our Nighthawk. I guess that's fine. <clears throat> Sorry for the throat clearing. I got a little scratchy voice here. That's my secret cap. All my comics are Stanley comics. Oh, they murdered it instead. All right. Well, I was ruthless. Yep. Okay. So most of the removal's gone. We will probably block here. I don't want to go to six and then go to five. I would rather stay in range of being able to like. I want to survive long enough to Soren's vengeance here. So, 
<clears throat> We've also lost all of our sack outlets in Blood Throne and Nantuko Husk, so having this guy on the board just doesn't do anything for us. Probably just going to Soren's Vengeance here. Because if they have Corrupt or something, then we're just dead, so let's get out of range of that. Seven, eight mana, so we can go six and two, which is not bad. We can also just Liliana and Doom to Center, which I kind of like better because I want to start tearing apart their hand. <coughs> You're tearing my hand apart, Lisa! I'll block. <laughs> I was literally just typing that. Get wrecked. <coughs> wow, mutilate. All right. And doomed necromancer. Removal spell off the top one time. I could go for one. It's kind of like a removal spell. What can they get back? Okay, nothing... Oh, Nightmare and a Shadowborn Demon. All right, well, that's something, I guess. Or Pentavus. Oh, dear God. <clears throat> I think we just get Tendrils here. How do we beat a Pentavus if they get a Pentavus back? One, I guess it, you know, they return to the battlefield so they can make five of their dudes. What can we draw with Grave Pact that actually keeps us alive? God, like nothing? They're also at seven. How do we just kill them? These are all the questions that we ask ourselves. <clears throat> All right, well. Ugh, this Pentavus is actually really problematic. <laughs> to the surprise of no one. <clears throat> Come on back, Pentavus. Well, that's a good one. Wow, these top decks are fantastic. Doom, Necromancer, and Icy. Okay. Well, on the bright side, they can only make three guys, and we're going to draw... We're going to gain a million life, so... I did not hit her. Oh, hi, Mark. Lisa, Lisa, are you tearing me apart? They can make three one ones, but that's actually fine. We're going to gain nine. Thousand. I think we forgot to get Reassembling Skeleton back last turn, which is pretty bad. <clears throat> so if we negative Liliana, she dies. Hmm. I think we just need the threat, though. I think we need, like, Rune Scar Demon here. Get a little insurance. <clears throat> so we got a Rune Scar Demon into whatever else we draw. We also have Phyrexian Arena. We're at 21 to 7. I feel like we're in good shape, but 
Magic is a it's a hell of a thing. Anything can happen. Both the big lils, you got it. That guy's fine. I think. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have reassembling skeletons. So that guy's actually never getting through. And they have to sack a thing every time we're reassembling skeletons. So, oh wow. That was a good draw. Like, surprisingly good. Yep. Never attacking with Nightmare. We're attacking because they're at 7. If they block, uh, they, they have to sack a Pentavis anyway. And if they don't block, <clears throat> they go to 6. So... Oh, they have their own reassembling skeleton. What a time to be alive. I totally forgot about their own reassembling skeleton because there's a lot going on in this game. Um, <laughs> do I just got Grave Titan here? Jesus. Jesus. I feel like Grave Titan's the place. <clears throat> we're not going to actually attack here because uh, we're not going to play Gravedigger because I'd rather just get Reassembling Skeleton God, Reassembling Skeleton's a beating with Grave Pact I feel like all our really powerful spells are somehow neutered s just a little bit with all their cards like Icy, Reassembling Skeleton Pentavis neutered tendrils in the sense that they got guys out of it. Um. Yeah, we have Gravedigger. I'm just going to block here and get this guy off the board. Otherwise, we take one, we go to 19, and then we take one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. We take an extra round it down or round it up. Oh, just we take an extra seven. Yeah, that's not, that's not happening. <clears throat> So now we can go six and four. And we can still get skeleton back. Huh, speak of the devil. All right, so we have 12 mana. <clears throat> I have a good feeling about this Grave Titan. Turn me apart. <clears throat> oh, and we win the game. Good games. Got there. 2 1. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you're on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and Twitch. And MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore if you're looking for super comfortable micromodal undies, socks, tees, uh, onesies, whatever you need. You can check them out. You get 15% off. You get free shipping and free returns. And I appreciate the support. You guys are great. I'll see you next time. Uh, rest in peace, Stan Lee. And uh, thanks for watching.